first day out pike fishing of the 21-22 uh, season. Let's get it fucking on! Woo! Yeah. Oh well. So, not weed. Just <laughs> weed, not weed. This fucker is not wealthy. I always just see a barb. Yeah. There we go. We're off the mark. Fucking brilliant. Happy eyes. Come on, you fucking thing. Get the trash unhooked. That way the rod can be. That's it, flay free. Yep. That way the rod can be. Yeah. I don't think we need the uh, the waist sling for him. Yeah, that will fade all right. That's not blank. <laughs> it's not a blank. <laughs> it's not a blank. Hey, right, please. He's all the way there, don't you? Oh, not right. Oh, not right. Not right. Going through the gills, turn the hook around. There we go. Deadly. That's what I call proper on hooking. You want to photograph him? Oh, I'll go for it. Oh, oh, he's about to escape. <laughs> yeah, I can go that. I get my phone. Where's my phone? I have it, it is in the belly, belly pocket. Are you tooth boys? Yeah. Where's Pike in about 10 years or more? 12 years? <laughs> there we go. Not a blank. You may go and get yourself another another bait towel. What the net? Oh, fuck those. Those are good matters. No, it doesn't. That's just fucking good. Not a blank. That's a good result for the day so far. You've seen me fish here before. First outing of the year, and it's not a blank. Well, not for not for it's a blank for me, but not for Dwayne. The 
the wind is hacking mostly down that far bank. Earlier on, there was like white horses running down the far bank, so we're kind of protected by a little bump here in the ground. I was going to have on and off showers all day, so there's a shower that's just passed, there's a clear spot. So we're going to have weather systems where shower clear, shower clear, shower clear. It's going to be going to be good. In the summer, or not the summer, like the springtime, that whole reed margin there is alive with jackpike. I'd say that. You know, we surface poppers are brilliant, brilliant crack with it. See that wee green, that wee green buffer bead? Just make sure that's pulled over the swivel, dude. Otherwise, it's gonna, the whole the whole thing will be just resistance. No, no, the, the, onto your swivel, onto your on onto the bit with the tubing just goes over your swivel. Did it come off? No, oh, do we see? You want that rig tubing to be bust into the side of? The, into this, oh, right. what do you see? Into this. Oh yes, yes. Just yes. Was making that there's no resistance at all. Deadly. Well, not so much resistance. It's just protecting the line of those ever muscles, because those ever muscles oh. can't eat through that. Deadly. So they can they can destroy that. I mean, it's only a lead. Who fucking cares? Sweet, but man. that's yeah. just that's just to protect it from. Man, you we don't have much of a problem. There's ever muscles here because of the weed, but oh, if we were going to go fishing, like the first option was talk, talking about. Yeah. You would have needed it there because there's a massive big rock ledge that you're fishing over. Right. So you're. Yeah. So, first session pike fishing, and it isn't a blank, well, I've not caught the thing yet, but the uh, my care in the community for today caught one, <laughs> the responsible adult for today caught one. <laughs> Just give the bits some oil, put a bit of sardine oil into them, see if that makes any difference. We're kind of dealing with uh, showers on and off, so. In between that there, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but some of these alarms going off. Because that isn't at all and that like annoying as shit all day. But we're fishing. We've at least had a pike, which is awesome. Okay, it's not very big, but I'm not greedy. I'll settle for something mid twenty on up. A few moments later. I'm gonna pop up my little perch. And give it the rest of this sardine oil. On this rod I have a smelt, on this rod I have the perch. So let's get the perch popped up. This is the first outing for my my new rails. I got a pair of uh, CI4 big bait runners. And these are loaded with the 100 pound spider braid or spider wire, whatever it's called. Can't remember the name of it. I'll put up a photograph of the the braid that I'm using. As you can see, we're fishing in places that still got lots of weed. That is good. It means that there's something to hold the fish there. Right. So now I'm 
show you how these work. These are little things from Prola. Prola. And unfortunately, they stopped making them. I think Prola actually went bust. And they just screw into the bit. Like so. And then you just wrap them around the... You trebles with a little bit of wire, like so. And that bit is now oozing from the oil. So we're going to give it some more. I'm a great believer in oils, as you know. This bad boy cast out again. And that's just on the bottom. It's not particularly deep here, but we're fishing in weed. It's early on in the season. There is bait fish here because I've seen them topping so because the bait fish are here the, the pike will be here and well we know the pike's here because we've already had one I'm not sure if the camera's picking up that, but there is a nice oil stick coming off of that bit now. That should hopefully mean that that bit is now, there's the bottom, the bit's going to be up here. So if there is pike kind of cruising the weed bed, they're going to see it and think, quite like that, that looks like a nice snack. I'm going to have a bit of that. And hopefully the pike that does that is 25 pounds. I'm not greedy. beautiful place but this is the first day's pike fishing for this this winter so I am definitely enjoying it even though I've not caught anything just yet might go and put on something to eat just brewed number two cup of coffee might go and put on a something nice cooking with scobes so to think directly across from us that is Crom Castle Estate you've seen me fish there before this is the Dara Vore Jetty the nearest I suppose the nearest big town to this is probably Lis the Ski for all those people that are wondering where I am as I mentioned in my last vlog I've also uh spoke to Dave Lum, the guy that built my rods that I use and he's currently building me a fourth uh, BB350 bit blaster rod these rods are 12 foot 3.5 pound test curve um, for my fishing, the way I fish these are my go-to bait rods this is just the, my go-to bait rods the rods that Dwayne's using at the minute are my 13 foot 4 pound test curve rods, those are Dave Lum's uh, D3 rods they are again you know absolutely awesome rods for long range fishing so this is the first outing for my new big pit bit runners I'm Hoping that I, fingers crossed, hoping that I break them in today. 
ocean them, so to speak. But even if we blank, we're still fishing, we're still having a good day. I think it's time to go and do cooking with scobes. Meanwhile, cooking with scobes time. It's gonna be dead easy today. We're gonna cook steak burgers with cheese. That would make it a cheeseburger, I guess. Can't have pike fishing without cooking. Trying to stay healthy by using rice bran oil. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll give it a go. really want the raging inferno. There's nothing nothing quite like having a burger that's cooked on the outside and still raw in the middle. Oh. But dead easy. It only takes a couple of minutes. I'm going to put them into a nice brioche bun because we can. With some Coleraine mature cheddar cheese. It'd be like something that would happen that we get a run. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to do this without getting attacked by wasps because the tree above me must have a wasp pile in it because they're everywhere. Nature's little bastard insect. Good to be out. I've missed this. No. Don't get me wrong, feeder fishing's nice. It's good crack. But there's something about pike fishing that I uh, I really enjoy. If anyone ever asked me, you know, what sort of fishing would you do? I'd always kind of say to them, I'm a pike angler. You know, yes, I fish for tench and carp and bremen roach. But I'm a pike angler. That's what I enjoy doing. There's something nice about getting out to the great outdoors. You know, cooking something to eat, chilling out for a day, even if it's just a day. It is awesome for your mental health just to get out. So. I'm going to finish cooking this and then I will see you in a minute. It's all good. I only managed to burn myself once, but look at them. Aren't they sexy good? Hmm. <laughs> More moments later. Sat and watched a little red squirrel jump from tree to tree here. 
Unfortunately, the, uh, the little bugger was far too quick to catch him on on the GoPro. I'm not even sure the GoPro would be fit to pick the damn thing up. I got one good photograph of it. Among like fucking 25 photographs of just blur and tree. I'll show that to you now. It's great to see little uh, red squirrels back again. They got a bit of a kick in from the the, uh, the introduced grey ones. You know, I know to most of the population that a squirrel is a squirrel is a squirrel regardless of the colour. But a little bit of a wildlife lesson. In the UK we have native squirrels, they are the red squirrel. If you see grey ones running around, whilst they might look cute, they are uh, vermin and you can shoot them with an air rifle or with a rifle or a shotgun or whatever you want to shoot them with. So I would encourage you to go out and do your bit to uh, save the red squirrel by blasting lumps out of the uh, grey ones. But being that we're right beside Crom Castle and Crom Estate here, it's great to see little uh, little red squirrels. you got to be quick because they are they're speedy little buggers, they don't hang around for too long in the one spot. But I'm a gigantic oak tree behind me here, so it's probably here looking for something to chew on. But it's been good. It's a good day for the wildlife. We had some polite German tourists coming to past and asking us how we were doing, if we were catching fish. It's nice to see boat owners that have better better respect for anglers and keep the kind of keep the distance. I've had a grebe that's been trying to eat my my dead bit perch, which has been amusing. It's been a good a good day so far. Fishing wise, strategy wise, I'm just fishing with dead bits that are popped up. Between the two of us, we have four rods on. So that's that's enough bit for where we are. I've had a dropped run. I was fishing with a pollen, and the pollen came back and it was all shredded, so something obviously picked it up and spat it out. We've had one. Small jack so far. Just then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, happy, happy, man. It's a fish this time, not a weed fish. <laughs> I'll get below you than that. Yeah, two fish. Doing well. Get our vlog again. Maybe. Thank you, Mike. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> right. Little jack. Want to hold on a second? Just, just to take this. Just to take this clip off. Yeah. 
Is it me or has that one got like a blue screen yeah, to it? Yeah, it's definitely got a good tinge to it. It's well enough too. Yeah, just in the scissors. Just in the scissors. Calm down. About the same sort of size. Yeah. I'll go on to get. Yeah. Well, it was brung in a fair bit quicker. Sure, yeah. That's it. And I didn't think that one was weed. Oh, I should have got a bit of thump in there all. <laughs> so there we have it. We saw some wildlife. There was some fish caught. Not by me. Getting beat 2 0 was not pleasant. <laughs> but it's been a good day. Still lots of weed. Still lots of thick weed. So. Uh, I reckon a first real good cold snap, maybe a couple of nights below, uh, close to zero or below zero temperatures and all that grass weed will die off pretty quickly. But it's been a good day, I've enjoyed myself. I have my first overnight session of the year next weekend which is a, an overnight session with the Pike Angling Club of Great Britain and Northern Ireland for the Northern Irish re region. So that'll be fun. It's uh, be the first time since uh, the COVID, uh, sorry, the unnamed global pandemic from unspecified geographical location. It'll be the first time since all that that we've been allowed to meet up. Of course, we all have to be boil washed and soaked in bleach. I mean, wear masks and uh, stay socially distant. Because I'm not sure if you've ever been to like a, an event with pike anglers because we're like fucking rats in a bag. We're all over each other, we really are. That's the terms of getting on to the venue. We have to be socially distant. Wow. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be, I'm hoping, touching wood. Have a good season. Hope everyone that's watching the videos is enjoying them. If you're not, then well, you know, sucks to be you because clearly you have a problem. Until next time, troops, Ted Lines.